reindeer ears. So I just oh, found a slipping necklace. <laughs> Suits you, bud. Yeah, <laughs> it looks. No, no, you have to see some of the red necklace. She let it down. Can you see it there, guys? Um, it's a little. It's behind your your thing, actually. But it's cool, bud. It's good. It's good. It's good enough. That's lacquer, man. All right. <laughs> I like that necklace, actually. <laughs> Two chains. <Thanks. laughs> Waking at dawn. Woo hoo 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 hoo. Oh, Maybe we should go ho 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 ho. Oh. <laughs> How are you, yes. my man? I'm good and you, buddy. Good and you, yes. man. Yeah, it's, I'm really uh, good, my man. We're excited for the Christmas episode. Yeah, <laughs> we are indeed. I like your awesome necklace there, bud. Even though it's Whoa. just kind of for the show, I think I want to get a red necklace like that. <laughs> <laughs> a reindeer necklace on, people. This is uh, this is going to be hot next season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic, bud. So Christmas how's... jumpers don't go down well in uh, the heat of Australia, so maybe we'll have to make Christmas necklaces. <laughs> no, I think so, bud. Jeepers. Can you imagine Christmas jumpers where you are? What did you say? It's like 36 where you are today. That's crazy. Today was ridiculous, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's something cool about Christmas jumpers here in Europe, isn't there? Oh, it's the best. And uh, everyone, you know, everyone has a good laugh and it, it just makes everything feel a bit Christmassy, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes it feel nice and festive, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> so we're excited. This is our short Xmas episode. Uh, we thought we would kind of save people's time a little bit and get, you know, allow them to have more time to spend with their families. So, yeah, we just wanted to, I guess, firstly, start off with a bit of a thank you, didn't we, Craig? Yeah, exactly, Gareth. We've got so much to be thankful for just in general, but obviously relating to the podcast, it's been a massive year and it's been a full year uh, for us. Uh, and We've done it for the first time for the full year. So it's, that's quite a special thing as well. But obviously just starting off with the list of just so many amazing people in our lives uh, that we've met and are meeting through this journey. And obviously each and every one of you for listening, that's, you know, what can we say? We're just incredibly grateful, aren't we, Gareth? Craig, we are indeed. We're just, we're just totally blown away, you know, I guess that you guys listen to us. It's really awesome. So we just thank you so much for being part of this journey with us. We, we just sort of feel so lucky that it's us, it's the guests, uh, it's you, and it just means so much to us. And uh, just a huge thank you and wishing you a, a great uh, festive season, that's for sure. Um, yeah, one thing that one thing that I don't think everyone realizes, hey Gareth, is that this running our the podcast is a big part of our lives for you and I, you know, and and it, because it's such a big part of our lives, the people listening to it are also a massive part of our lives. So, you know, it it really is a special thing for us, and you know, we can't really um, say it enough um, uh, what what a special thing it is when when people get, you know interact with and tell us. How much they've enjoyed something so it's yeah from the bottom of our heart it means very very much uh, to both of us totally and it's just yeah like you said i don't know if uh, people know how much it does mean because those messages which we get each week saying oh thanks or even if someone shares it or whatever the story is we're like ah this feels so good doesn't it and we'll share it with each other on whatsapp and go check this out what this person said so it's you know it's all those little things which really add up and mean so much to us and sure. then we also really want to thank our guests we we just feel so fortunate that we get to speak to such amazing people literally each and every one of our guests brings something special and we certainly learn a lot about, uh, you know, them and what they're doing and also just take something from each episode. And it's, it really is a massive learning experience for us. And I think is grounding us quite nicely and giving us a good perspective on, on the world and, you know, how we should behave and those sort of things. Hey, Craig. Yeah, exactly. There's, you know, the reason we do this is to understand people more and understand the connections more. And 
you know, we, re, you know, we, the actual test subjects on this, we, we, you know, you and I, when we actually talk privately, um, we, we discuss uh, oftentimes what our guests have, have spoken about, you know, that, that's how, how much we're learning every day. And at the end of the day, this is uh, part of what we do this for is selfish. You know, we just love speaking to amazing people and we feel that there's just so much value in it. And so we just want to thank each and every one of our guests for, for um, sharing so honestly um, their truth and their reality because we take so much from it and we will continue to do so. And that's why we want to share this because that's a way of giving back uh, that knowledge and recording it. Yeah, 100%. And we also wanted to say thanks. We have uh, two virtual assistants that help us, uh, Camilla and Peter, and we just wanted to seriously just give you, you know, like um, a huge sort of pat on the back. And what you do for us really does um, add a lot to the podcast. Um, it gives us a bit more freedom to to make it a bit more of a production as well. And we're just really thankful that you are part of our team. So, um, you know, everything that you do um, really, you know, makes us take a step forward every single week and frees up our time to, you know, to, to do other things that we, that we need to do within the podcast too. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Camilla. Uh, you guys make our lives so much easier in many ways. And we continue to look forward to working with you guys into the future because it's, it's been a real pleasure and uh, we le- we're both learning a lot in this journey and that's, that's what it's all about, isn't it? And just moving forward, you know, just reflecting on what it's all about. We've been doing a lot of that, Gareth and I, with the clarifying of our message and, you know, where we're going. And one thing we've just noticed so much of lately is like this 10x crew, you know, these, there's so many people out there that have been just touting this get rich quick uh, sort of mentality and massive money focus and we feel like it's just it's getting almost too much and you know oftentimes you think maybe things are moving in the real good direction but then sometimes you see some of these um, sort of adverti- uh, advertisements come along and you just uh, kind of almost feel sick it's just it's like so contrived isn't it yeah it is Craig and <clears throat> there was one particular one which I shared this week on Facebook and yeah, it was this guy and he was talking about a conference that he, that he has coming up and, and he's, he's a well-known guy and it was actually quite disgraceful. I think this video that he had on Facebook, either, either he's an amazing marketeer or marketer, whatever the right word is. <laughs> um, <laughs> Musketeer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And, and he did that intentionally to, to get attention, but it was actually gross. He was, he was talking about like how much money he has and that he was comparing it to this other guy who's his friend that's also going to be there. And his friend has loads of Ferraris or Lamborghinis, but he was like licking his like Lear jet and saying, well, oh. you know, my, this is mine, you know, and one of my engines is worth like four Rolls Royces or something like that. And, and people actually subscribe to this and, and I don't know, it's just, I don't think it's a healthy way to, to be and to go about things in life. Um, it's a, it's a, it's not a good base to start off from. Hey Craig. No, not at all. It's, it's the money focus is where people go wrong. I don't think the issue is the money. I mean, money is certainly something with money, you can help others, you know, and it's not inherently an evil or bad thing. It's just that when money becomes the absolute focus of your life, you just forget about it, it, all other things that potentially could be argued that are meaningful. And I just think that by these kinds of people are sometimes um, encouraging, especially youngsters, to feel like they, this is what they should be aspiring to and lose sight of the other amazing experiences that we can have. The whole array of the human experience um, does not just fall into uh, the money 
uh, category. So anyway, that was a bit of a pet peeve we've had of late. Yeah. And I think like wealth is, comes in so many different forms, you know, like it comes in mm-hmm. your relationships and the, what you give back in life, uh, the, uh, I don't know, just so many other things, you know what I mean? That, that actually contribute mm. towards wealth. Money is just one of them. Right? Exactly. So you can be wealthy in so many different ways. Sure. Like you said, money, you know, gets you to a certain place in life, but don't make it be the be all and end all. It's just no. part of, there's so many different facets to this and part of things that make you wealthy in life. So yeah, it's, it, it is a bit of a pet peeve, like you said, Craig. And, and that, that really kind of sort of took us over the edge a little bit this week. We're like, oh my <laughs> word, this is just disgraceful. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, that's, uh, yeah, that's just one of the things that I guess we wanted to talk about because it, it sort of lines up with, you know, our bit of reflection of the year and how we want to, you know, go and live in 2019. But also one of the things that we always talk a lot about with each other is our daily routines. And we're always trying to, I guess, find new ways to do things or just find a bit more peace in life and, and these sort of things. And one of the things that you have started doing recently, I think, is super cool, Greg. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all coming back to what you were mentioning earlier about, you know, the, the, the wealth, you know, being well or well-being is a complex thing and you have to explore your yourself and your own mind and your own talents and your own skills and one has to push yourself in ways that you may not be comfortable and this is one thing that we often talk about gareth hey isn't it like how do we how do we take the most out of this human experience and i think you know, the little things that we do in our day-to-day habits are things that ultimately push you in that kind of direction. And so one of the things that I've been doing lately is I'm trying to learn how to juggle with four and five balls. Um, and because it's, because it's difficult, frankly, and also in terms of the brain, it's quite a good thing to learn. (laughs) Um, and, and it's just, it's, these are the little things and we constantly learning new little skills to try and push our own boundaries. And, and when you're doing these things, you, you're forcing yourself to stick to, to one thing and do it well. And that's, I think, been a theme for us is, to, you know, instead of be scattered and live a shallow, rather go deep on, on things. And I know, talking about going deep, you, you've been doing a lot of journaling and, and um, writing, and, and that must be quite a powerful thing for you too, isn't it, Gareth? Yeah, it is indeed, Craig. F- firstly, like, I'd love to see you juggle because I think it's such a, it's such a difficult <laughs> thing to do. I always try it and I'm like, oh my word. But uh, I'm sure if it's something that you focus on, you, you get, can get good at, that's for sure. I still suck at it though, so <laughs> I'll show you when I <laughs> Okay, awesome, man. Um, but yeah, I've started, I mean, I've actually been journaling, I guess, the whole year, but uh, I guess I've taken a little bit um, deeper, should I say, in, in recent kind of months, weeks. And... I don't know. I just find it for me, it's, it's very therapeutic. It is providing a lot of clarity in my life. I think in your mind, you have so many thoughts and things that go on and things that you want to do and all this stuff. But, but often that's what it is. It's just thoughts in your head and it kind of can get a bit overwhelming in some points. And yeah, it's, you, you're like, oh, geez, I got, you know, I got so much going on, blah, blah, blah. But actually, when you start writing things down, um, it just becomes a lot more clearer. And, and these thoughts, actually, you can start acting on them. They're not just things that you, you're thinking mm. about now. They're actually, okay, yeah, I'm writing this down. Uh, there becomes this connection and this re- rewiring in your mind. And I'm just finding it super powerful. And the other thing which I am starting to do or going to start doing is like daily affirmations. And it's something that you and I also talk about a lot. And, and I think there's a, there's a lot of um, power in them. And, and there's a certain way I also think to construct them. And I'm really looking forward to testing that out. That's for sure. Yeah, I think it's going to be great, Gareth. And uh, I look forward to hearing 
some of yours if, if you if you uh, you know share them and uh, and i think it's good to to discuss these things with your mates like what are the kinds of things that you are affirming in your life it sort of roots back to your values and one thing we've been doing a lot of as well is meditation and you know we've been doing this both been doing this for some time um but i feel like when i got the sam harris waking up uh podcast off the back of his podcast uh he has a a meditation app and there's been like you know you have these little forks in the road in in your life along the journey and i feel like maybe just that app was one for me because for some reason i just sort of i'm clicked with that app i've used other ones and i've tried other forms of meditation but i some for some reason the way he does things and the way my brain works somehow click and it's been a bit of a, like a watershed sort of a moment for me. And, um, once you sort of see the value in it, you, you can't really ever go back. And, and I think that's really powerful. Yeah, for sure. You are also a massive Sam Harris fan. So that probably yeah, ties exactly. in with why, why you like his stuff. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that's cool. But yeah, but yeah, I mean, he's, he is an amazing guy and uh, I can imagine that is, meditation is rather powerful and, and quite yeah. different maybe to, to some of the others out there. I think it's, it's to do with a little bit of um, both of us find communication um, really language uh, is the root of, of why we do things, you know, how you describe things and, and he does things super eloquently. And so I might not subscribe to all of his ideas, but when someone can be so succinct in his explanations, that's like for me, uh, like a, a reason to, to be a little bit, um, you know, uh, into this guy a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, for sure. But, um, so just carrying on with, um, you know, a bit of, uh, reflection on, uh, 2018, like you said at the start, it's a full year of podcasting even though I guess in just over a week's time, we would have gone over three different years. Uh, It's our first actual full one. So that's really, really cool. Uh, Congratulations, Craig. It's it's an amazing time. Thanks so much for everything. Congrats, man. man. We didn't thank each other, but (laughs) yeah, yeah, that's true. (laughs) I think we do it each week. We like, exactly. Thanks, bud. Well done. Good job. (laughs) Exactly. So, yeah, I mean, it's been a year for us uh, of experimentation. We think it's important to keep on trying new things all the time. Uh, It helps you improve by trying new things. It also sort of opens up different pathways and things you might not have, might not have found out if you didn't experiment. And we, we've been experimenting a lot this year, like I guess with like, especially intros and stuff. We, we used to write out a long intro then we went to a bit more freestyle. Then we started <laughs> writing art again. And yeah, it's weird because even though we think it's good to write it out, when we re-listen to ourselves, we, we sometimes cringe because it, <laughs> it, can, it can sound a bit, uh, a bit contrived. And, uh, but we, we, you know, the thing is we just got to keep going and um, it's those cringy moments which you learn from, uh, and it and it is actually a real art to read and sound natural. So we're <laughs> going to carry on experimenting with that, maybe going a bit more freestyle again. But uh, it's it's just cool to experiment, isn't it, Craig? It is, Gareth. It's all about learning, and you know the the, the intros have been a big one for us, like you said, and it's a lot of fun, you know. But it, it's tough because you want to try and get and give the the guest a real good platform of what they do, who they are. And so you kind of have to write some of it out, but at the same time, the, when you've written it out, like you say, we, we sound, a little, it's a little cringeworthy sometimes. So we are working on it, but it's, it's, it's a fun, fun way to do it. But another thing we tend to do, and we've, we've brought this up a few times and we'll continue to do it as long as we continue to do it. But we, we have these habits of like, slow ands and likes and and you know like good lord and and <laughs> it's really sometimes also cringeworthy and, and i'm just grateful to peter and and you know and a little bit of the, the post-production stuff that we get rid of that because you guys even the, even though we, we we do that there's still a lot that slipped through uh and uh but yeah you got to be 
thankful for some of that editing, eh, Gareth? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were great. I, was, I just have to laugh sometimes when I listen to the raw version or watch the raw version of the video <laughs> version of the podcast. And the amount of times I say like is ridiculous. And it's so funny <laughs> because I always rip Americans off for saying like so much, but uh, I'm probably worse than 90%. <laughs> and you know, is, you know, is a huge oh. like, Jeez. amount of times I say, you know, and I, and I try to be <laughs> conscious of it, like, especially in my day to day talking, cause that's obviously, you know, it becomes a habit and, but it, I don't know, it's just something that uh, it's going to take more work to, to improve and say less of over time as, <laughs> yeah. um, but then also Craig, I mean, we, we, it was an amazing year cause we got to meet up for the first time in three years. I yeah. know we, we spoke about that before, but, uh, you know, it was just, it was just great seeing each other in person. There's just something so much different in terms mm. of connection and what you can get through and just creating that bond again, isn't there? Yeah, hundred percent. It was really good. And we also met some amazing people and we got to travel a little bit. So, you know, it's all bundled up into one. It was, it was epic, man. It was so good to see you. Uh, and it, it refueled us. That's for sure. And gave us new energy moving forward and we should all try and do stuff like that in our lives and find things that, that re-energize you and, and do those things in your life, you know? And, um, there are a few things that we, we were also really happy about. We, we gave our first presentation and, uh, uh, it went pretty well, didn't it Gareth? Yeah, it did indeed, Craig. Yeah, it was a great presentation. So thanks for organizing that firstly. Uh, Craig Pleasure. was in person in Australia and I was on online obviously from London and we did a presentation on like why we do podcasting and why would you want to start a podcast and some, you know, think advice based on things that we've learned over our year and a half of doing podcasting. So it was really cool. And, and, you know, we want to take, take this forward now and we have some, some cool plans for 2019. Hey Craig. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's just, it's always a fun time to look back and look forward, you know, and we're at that, I mean, you should probably do that anytime, but for some reason we tend to do that at the change of the years and it's, it's fun to do. And, you know, we want to certainly clarify our message a little bit more, you know, and, and definitely bring more value through that. So by clarifying exactly, you know, who it is that, that, that it is into the podcast, who's listening and, and, and really bring out the stories that me, are meaningful to you uh, that's really what we we're going to really be zeroing in on uh for the next year isn't it for sure craig i think it's important for you as a listener to understand why why am i listening to this podcast why am i going to listen to you know different episodes and when we clarify that message exactly, we kind of have an idea, you know, but just to actually really hone in on it. So we almost have like a bit of a mini manifesto or a bit of a, a longer manifesto. So this is what the ridiculously human podcast is about and why you would come here kind of each week or at least dip your toes in, you know, on alternative weeks to have a listen. And I think mm. that's super important, you know, have a, have a nice tribe, of uh, of people that you know have the same sort of values and 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 wants and needs in life, so mm. so that's definitely a big one. And like you said as well, Craig, bringing more value. We we totally just want to bring value in life, you know, and and give and give and give, and that, and that we think that's so important. And we we're going to experiment with different ways of doing that too, and we're totally open to other suggestions and stuff as well. So please just send us messages or whatever the story is. And uh, we, we love to hear feedback on that sort of stuff. For sure. One of the ways we want to do that is, uh, is to bring sort of a, a five minute uh, weekly episode as a sort of a synopsis from the actual full podcast, which will, will give you a real good taste of, uh, of what's to come in the full podcast, but you'll still get the value and the, the, the overall well, overarching uh, theme or message from the podcast. And uh, we also want to try a sort of a bonus episode that will, um, will come along with that as well. It, it, is that right, Gareth? Yeah, we, we, we want to do like, well, we'll just do bonus. We have like, we have different chats every now and then, you know, of course we have our 
um, panel discussions and we've been on other podcasts and, and those sort of things. And then every now and then we just have like a good chat, you and me, you know, and we're like, okay, cool. Mm. Let's post this as a, as a bonus episode. Um, but uh, I'm really looking forward to those little taster ones, Craig, they're going to be really mm. cool. Um, and, uh, yeah. And let's see how that goes. It'll, it's cool. It's cool just to be flexible with each other. I think we, we've made that a overarching theme in terms of how we operate and I think it's, it's almost one of the only ways to do things if you yeah. want to progress in life and in, in, in not just business and, and podcasting, but in pretty much anything. Um, cause otherwise you, you can go down a wrong hole and, and never get out of it. That's for sure. Mm. Yeah. So, and then, you know, we want to, we want to also sort of capitalize a bit on, on what we're actually doing now. It's nice to start getting a bit of traction with the podcast and, actually using that and start doing, you know, a few more talks, a few more presentations. And that's, that's definitely something we, we see as a growth uh, part of our podcast for next year. Yeah, exactly. The, the, there's so many things, like you say, Gareth, let's be, it's, it's, it's good to be flexible and talks are definitely one thing down the track. We'd love to actually sit with some of you listening and, and have like interaction with face to face as well. You know, that's a real um, goal of ours down the track uh, because there is something really special and valuable when you sit down with people for a, a day or two or three and uh, break bread together. And uh, yeah, we, we're excited for some of these longer medium to sort of longer term goals, but um, yeah, there, there's, there, there's so many, to, so many things to look forward to, but all of that is based on, values and ideas that we hold dear to our hearts and um, obviously when we talk about clarifying our message we're talking about clarifying our podcast message for you but also our own personal values and I think there's it's quite a nice thing to discuss because when you hear someone else discussing their own principles and values it, you sort of reflect on your own don't you Gareth? You do indeed, Craig. And like, once again, we talk about this a lot uh, in, our, in our side chats. And for us, I think it's important to live a life that uh, follows certain principles and values and just to, to kind of refine those as you go along. And I think we all as humans live to, you know, certain ways, um, but it's also worth just trying to maybe do a bit more of each each year. And, and just create a bit more of a rounded self. And for me, the ones that I really want to work on and do more of in 2019, and I think are going to help um, because there's a lot of noise in the world right now. And it's important to, to pick and choose, actually. And, and for me, personally, I want to live uh, 2019 like be just be a bit more disciplined, just disciplined in, in how I operate overall. Um, I guess in how I make decisions, how I run my day. Um, and yeah, and, and that's just going to help me, I guess, find a bit more clarity and get a bit more done as well. And the other one, which I just said now is clarity. And I think is confusion can really mess things up for you. Um, and because there's, there is so much information and, and whatnot in the world, it causes a lot of confusion. So I want to have a year of more clarity and remove that confusion. And I guess the discipline and clarity tie into each other quite nicely because of, you know, what you, uh, what information you uh, consume basically. And then an overarching thing, which I think is so important is fun. Like just got to have fun in life. You know, like it's easy to get serious and like you look at the news and <laughs> Facebook and all this stuff. And it's like, why are we, why are we just shouting at each other all the time? Why are we not just taking a step back and enjoying ourselves that little bit more? You know what I mean? Like Cheap as we, we, as far as we know, we got one opportunity at this. Let's uh, try and make the most of it and, and try to see the good in things, you know, and, and by seeing the good, you can have a lot of fun. And, and, the, and the other one on that, uh, Craig, for me is also curiosity. So be curious in, in how you interact and how you do things and speak to people more and find out things, read books, 
Um, and, and you'll find that you, you grow quite nicely. Um, and then Craig, you also have some really cool ones, don't you? For sure. Uh, for sure, buddy. I think that fascination one is also so, such a valuable thing and great, great values, great principles. And I, yeah, you're definitely sort of a principled person, uh, just in general. And, uh, and it's because you actually sit down, write them down, think about it. And that's, that's just a cool lesson to, to actually take from, from you, man. So, so well done. So just briefly, from, sort of from my side, I want to create and build more partnerships in my life. And I want to go deeper on friendships. Uh, instead of wide, I want to sort of add more time and effort and energy and love into becoming better friends with the friends I have and not just trying to be friendly with everybody. And I want to go back to basics in my life. I want to eat cleaner, more basic and with my health and with, uh, with working and with uh, interaction with people, you know, along with being back to basic uh, is just have less judgment, you know, of, of, of people. And it's like you said earlier, less noise. And I want to be more of service to others and, and sort of live less selfishly. You know, moving to a new country has kind of consumed me in trying to get myself going here. And I, I feel like this, I've been probably too selfish to some degree. And, um, and off the back of that, I don't want to be attached to my, especially my negative emotions, but obviously all my emotions. So if I'm feeling an anger or a, a frustration, I need to, I want to be able to, through meditation, through mindfulness, whatever you want to call it, be able to let it go and see it for what it is and, and never stay in those feelings for, for too long uh, because they don't serve you in any way, really. I mean, um, so these are the, the kind of things that I'm, I'm looking to really hone in on uh, in 2019. But I think it's quite fitting because the two of our sort of sets of goals and uh, values uh, kind of lock in together pretty well. And it's, it's quite a cool thing to see, actually. It is indeed, Craig. And, and firstly, you're definitely not a selfish person. So you just maybe a bit hard on yourself. Um, but, but also, thanks for sharing those. I think those are seriously powerful. And, you know, just being honest with yourself is great. Like all of those, just listening to them, I'm like, wow, this is someone being super honest with themselves and, and really wanting to make a difference in the world. So, Super awesome, but and and, Thanks, and there's there's a couple of other things I think which we spoke about as well, which which actually tie in nicely with all of these things, and that is we want to spread more kindness in 2019. Mm. Like there's so much anger it seems in the world, and um, you know one off against the other, and blah blah, and I must do this and blah blah, and and competing and blah blah, and and those things have their places of course, but. I think something which, which needs to fill the world more is kindness. And, and within kindness, that means, you know, spreading more love, uh, more generosity, uh, more compassion as well. And we, if we can do that, uh, it will just make, I don't know, just make things a bit nicer, you know what I mean? And, and that's, that's, that's important in life. And, and one of the other ones which we spoke about was doing things more slowly and mm. we got reminded about this nicely from one of our recent guests, Emily Penn, uh, who likes to travel slowly and not take aeroplanes and actually, you know, take things like trains and cars and camels and horses. And, you know, you can do that in so many other parts of your life too. Um, doesn't mean you're not, you, you know what I mean? It's not like you, you're sort of taking a step back or whatever, but um, if you can do things slowly, i.e., you're a bit more patient with mm. when you take on a task that is actually going to stand you in really good stead. So maybe think about it like treat every new thing that you do or you, you know, everything that sort of comes onto your plate as an experience as if you're starting to walk again, so not walk again, but you're learning to walk, right? When you're a baby, you took however many tumbles, over however many months or weeks it was, but you got up every single time. You didn't give up, you know, you just flip and did it. And because mm. you didn't, I guess in a way, you didn't know any better and you were curious and whatnot, but that's a good way to treat everything that you take on in life. Just be patient, 
uh, get up, dust yourself off, carry on again. Because it's not going to be easy. Nothing is easy. Uh, It is going to be difficult and you're going to have to work hard. And that's important to understand. Nothing comes quickly at all. And it never yeah. comes as quickly as you want it, even if it does come quickly. <laughs> so exactly. uh, those are things that we speak about a lot. And, um, you know, I'm just really excited, but for, for our year next year and just seeing where everything goes. Well, next time we get to see each other, we get to stop, stop and smell the roses together and slow down and enjoy the moment, enjoy the process, uh, not just the results and uh, continue connecting with each other, with others, caring for others. This is what it's about. Let's keep doing this. Let's continue this movement, this idea that you can live a good, successful life and at the same time care and connect with others on a real meaningful level. Yeah, 100%, Craig. And yeah, just to end it off, you know, this is actually, I think it's launching on Boxing Day, am I right? <laughs> um, yeah. So we hope that you had an amazing Xmas, that you got to spend a lot of great time with the people that are close with you and close to you in your life, that there was a lot of love shared, a lot of laughs had, and that you carry on that way and you live 2019 and beyond uh, with those, um, those sort of values and principles and ways of doing things in your life. So thanks once again. You guys are awesome. Uh, we've had a great time and we just, uh, yeah, just really thankful. Thank you, everyone. We can't wait for our journey with you next year, 2019. Woohoo! Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Waking at dawn, packing the gear, September tour and up in the air. Stop at the toll, digging for change, snowy cape fold, mountain range. Gotta be quick.